while many plants are certainly pretty to look at, there are many that look absolutely horrifying in all sorts of different ways. So join us for today's video as we take a look at the top 15 most horrifying and scary plants. Number 15. Strangled Tear The first entry on our list may not look like a big deal, but the plant known as the Strangled Tear can do a good amount of damage. Luckily for all of us, though, it's not harmful to humans, but its motives are still sinister. If you ever manage to catch a glimpse of the strangled tear, you'll notice that it looks overgrown and tangled, much like a knot that can never be untied. And the life cycle of the strangled tear is certainly an odd one, as it sucks the life out of the lush, vibrant plants around it. This bizarre plant detaches from its own roots and tangles itself around the roots of its neighbors, leaching off their hard-earned nutrients. Strangled tear thrives in warmer climates and is a classic example of the plant-eat-plant -plant world that exists all around us. Number 14. Bladder Wart If you ever go for a dip on a hot day in some fresh water, you may come across bladder wart. These plants have a unique look, with their long green stems and beautiful yellow petals sticking out about six inches above the water. You may be tempted to touch one, but you should think twice before picking this water-based flower. Although the bladder wart is a carnivorous plant, it hasn't quite developed a taste for human flesh yet. The bladder wart is similar to the more popular Venus flytrap in that it lies in wait for a tasty insect to land in their maw before it closes in on them like a steel trap. And because the bladder wart lives on the water, they're perfect for controlling the local mosquito populations, even feasting on their larvae. So the bladder wart is pretty, but also pretty deadly. Number 13. Rosary Pea The rosary pea may sound harmless, but whatever you do, don't touch it. Abrus precatorius, or the rosary pea, contains a deadly toxin similar to ricin, only twice as deadly. Despite being so deadly, the rosary pea is probably better known for its red and black seeds, which are even used as beads on some percussion instruments and jewelry but there have been plenty of reports of workers and craftsmen getting sick when accidentally piercing the seeds and coming into contact with the toxins within. The rosary pea is native to India and enjoys the tropical and subtropical locales of the world, and if you do unfortunately ingest the seeds of it, be ready to experience some nasty symptoms. The poison causes nausea, vomiting, convulsions, liver failure, and eventually death after a few days. This plant may look pretty, but it's definitely not how anyone wants to go out. And while the rosary pea is used for decorative purposes, many who do purchase these items may not realize how deadly these attractive little seeds or beads really are, and they're definitely not a good gift for children. Number 12. Corpse Flower The next entry on our list of bizarre and scary plants really stinks, literally. The corpse flower smells allegedly just like a rotting corpse and looks like it came to our forests from outer space. Plus, the thing is huge, and despite the stench, you have to admit that it does look kind of amazing. If it didn't smell so bad, maybe we'd be willing to have a few around the house. But all kidding aside, the corpse flower is also pretty cool because it uses that rotting flesh smell to ward off predators and prevent it from being eaten. But despite the crafty defense mechanism, the plant is still a rare one and it's a threatened species. They originate from the Sumatran forests, and to many people's surprise, it's made up of thousands and thousands of tiny male and female flowers, instead of being just one single flower. The flowers exude oil, while the large spire in the center collects heat, and so it's the hot oil that creates that fresh dead body smell, which somehow manages to attract beetles to pollinate it. And since these plants are huge, a mature adult can easily weigh up to 200 pounds. Number 11. Bleeding Tooth Plant If you couldn't already tell by the name, this one may not be for the faint of heart. The bleeding tooth plant is a type of fungus that looks like it's straight out of a horror movie, but in reality this unusual mushroom hails from the Pacific Northwest. The bleeding tooth plant earned its nickname from its pale white flesh with deep red pores that ooze out a thick red fluid. And if for some crazy reason you do feel like getting up close and personal with this scary fungus, if you turn it over, you'll see that the base is studded with small, mean-looking spines. Surprisingly, the bleeding tooth plant isn't dangerous and may have some health benefits for humans brave enough to consume them. And it's only the young ones that have the ghastly appearance. 
As they mature, they develop a more brown and shriveled appearance. The sanguine substance is a type of sap that's forced out of the fungus by excess absorption of water. And oddly enough, you can find the bleeding tooth plant in different environments all over the world, from North America to the Middle East and even parts of Korea. Luckily, they like to hide amongst the moss and the shadier parts of the forest, so the odds of you seeing one out in the open and getting scared are pretty slim. Number 10. Brain Cactus The brain cactus is easily one of the freakiest plants out there. And as the name implies, this prickly little guy looks a little too much like a human brain. But aside from being overly prickly, the brain cactus isn't going to cause any harm. Just make sure you don't get too close to it. The brain cactus's origins are just as interesting as its appearance. These are a form of cacti known as Cristata cacti, which, if somehow injured at a young age, grow into these grotesque shapes. The cells of the trauma site overgrow, multiplying at a much faster rate, and so what should have been a straight-up shape becomes deformed and a twisted shape that we see here. The brain cactus can be found all over New Mexico and makes for a great and easy to care for houseplant and can even have small blooms under the right conditions. But the bizarre look of this plant is a reminder that it was hurt at some point in its young life, making it perhaps one of the most misunderstood plants of all time. Number 9. Hydnora If you're hiking around in South Africa and you run into the Hydnora, don't freak out. Although it may look like some sort of sinister sci-fi creature waiting to pounce, you can rest assured that it's just a plant. We swear. The Hydnora grows almost completely underground, only exposing its flower to the rest of the world. But the flower is shaped especially to maximize the efficiency of its bristles to direct beetles right into the center. But how exactly can a plant lure a beetle into its maw? Well, the center of the Hydnora smells like poop. It's really as simple as that, and the beetles are definitely into that sort of thing. Especially the dung beetles, for obvious reasons. And sure enough, they'll walk right in there. But despite all of this, the Hydnora doesn't actually eat the beetle. Instead, it closes down on them and virtually holds them hostage while covering them in their pollen. When the time is right, the plant will release the prisoner back into the wild in the hopes that it will find a Hydnora of the opposite sex. But once they are pollinated, the Hydnora will bear fruit that's similar in taste and texture to a potato. Number 8. Loco Weed uh, The name says it all. Also known as Hell's Snare, Loco Weed makes you go absolutely loco. A member of the nightshade family, so things like eggplant, tomatoes, peppers, and even tobacco, Loco Weed is the crazy cousin that's full of nasty alkaloids. And while the city folk may never have heard of this, it may be a bit more common amongst farmers and ranchers, because livestock tends to eat these beautiful flowers and grow sick and oftentimes die. But this hasn't stopped humans from ingesting it for its deleterious effects. There really is no safe way to take loco weed recreationally, but when people do, the plant totally disassociates the user from reality, and it's said that the experience is similar to schizophrenia or dementia. Number 7. The Devil's Breath While this plant may look like it came from a fairy tale, take heed from its eerie name. The Devil's Breath is a large, white, fragrant flower that's also been called Angel's Trumpet, but this plant is incredibly dangerous and scary. And while it may not be carnivorous like some of the other plants on our list, just about every aspect of this plant is poisonous, from the leaves to the seeds. So it's always best to leave this one alone. But the devil's breath is chock full of toxins that, when ingested, lead to all sorts of unpleasant side effects, each one worse than the last. So what exactly happens? Well, some of the more mild symptoms include dry mouth, migraine, and diarrhea. But things can get really bad when you experience visual and auditory hallucinations, confusion, rapid heartbeat, paralysis, and eventually death. In some areas and cultures, the devil's breath is used to make an incredibly hallucinatory tea that can often lead down a dangerous path. And in Colombia, it's even been used by local criminals who turn it into a dust or powder to give to local tourists who become so out of their mind that they'll empty out their bank accounts and hand over the cash without a second thought. And when they actually wake up the next morning, they won't remember a thing. Number 6. Pitcher Plant Pitcher plants look and, and sound nice enough. Water gathers in them during heavy rainfall, and monkeys have been seen drinking from them on a hot day. But then again, this bizarre plant also has a taste for flesh. 
Even half-digested rats have also been found inside of them. So if you ever find themselves on its home turf of Sumatra, the Philippines, or Borneo, maybe don't get too close to the tropical pitcher plant. So far, there are about 150 known species of them, so good luck identifying them all. The tropical pitcher plant will eat just about anything that manages to fly inside of its pouch, which is coated in a sticky sap to make sure that once you're in, you're in and you're not getting out. They like worms, termites, spiders, and even lizards, but the smaller insects seem to be its preferred meal of choice. Each individual species of tropical pitcher plant have their own complex relationships with the ecosystem they live in. One has evolved to host a colony of carpenter ants that clean off the carcasses of the plant's larger prey, which, if left unchecked, would be bad news for the tropical pitcher plant. But then again, some species of tropical pitcher plant have evolved to become the toilets of small shrews by providing them with a special sweet exudate. The plants actually use the shrew poo as a source of nitrogen. It is a weird relationship. Number 5. Mandrake the next entry may have been made popular in more recent years because of its appearance in a certain series about a certain teenage wizard, but mandrakes are in fact real. And while they may not contain any magical properties, they are still incredibly bizarre. The mandrake is found only in small parts of northern Italy and along the Mediterranean, but contains some serious deliriant and hallucinogenic properties. Couple that with the fact that their limbs often look like small human limbs and you've got one weird plant on your hands. The mandrake has also been associated with myths, folklore, and superstitious practices since its discovery. But if you do somehow eat one of these roots, you'll experience some scary side effects like vomiting and diarrhea, and later, blurred vision, dryness of the mouth, dizziness, and a rapid heartbeat. But in certain older cultures, they believe that uprooting a mandrake would cause it to scream as it reached the surface and condemn the person pulling it to hell while the scream killed anyone who could hear it. Number 4. The Dragon Arum Dragon Arum is a gorgeous plant that grows in even more gorgeous locales like Greece, Crete, and the Aegean Islands. But the Dragon Arum can grow to a full yard long, and it's known for its deep red color. But more importantly, they give off an unusual odor that can be smelled from a mile away. It's not like it's a corpse flower. Instead of smelling like rotting flesh, the dragon arum smells more like dung. You know, poop. And also, unlike the corpse flower, this one is found in southern Europe as opposed to Southeast Asia. And they usually grow around ponds and rivers and in rainforests, so they like a humid temperament which only exacerbates their stench. But once it blooms, the stench doesn't last for more than three days. And if for some crazy reason you're looking to grow your own, which you can, just make sure to wear gloves because the dragon arum is very toxic. Number three, giant hogweed. Giant hogweed is far more common than most people would think, but it's also so innocuous and inconspicuous that most people would walk right by it without even thinking twice. This plant is also incredibly scary because of the danger it imposes. Giant hogweed is, believe it or not, a member of the carrot and parsnip family, but this is not something you ever want to come into close contact with. This beautiful plant contains a very strong phototoxic compound within its sap that can transfer to us just through touch alone. And if the giant hogweed sap gets into the nucleus of a person's skin cells, it bonds right with their DNA and eventually kills them in a very slow and painful process. It starts with a red itchy rash forming in the contacted area, and in about two days' time, the rash turns to burning raised blisters. Pain lasts not for days, not weeks, but months. And when the ordeal is finally over, all that's left behind is a nasty purple scar and bad memories. And to make matters worse, when you first come into contact with the DNA-killing sap of the giant hogweed, you won't know it for a few days, so anything else you may have touched, like your eyes, will be affected. And if it does get in your eyes, the sap will cause temporary blindness. Number 2. The Sandbox Tree You would think that with a name like The Sandbox Tree, this type of thing would be harmless. Well, think again. This type of evergreen tree is a native resident of the tropical regions of both North and South America, and is especially prevalent in the humid Amazon rainforest. The sandbox tree is pretty hard to miss because of the hundreds of dark pointed spines jutting out of the smooth deep brown bark. There are so many spines and they're so ominous looking that the sandbox tree has earned the nickname Monkey No Climb. And if it's too scary for a monkey, then it's definitely too scary for even the bravest of tree climbing humans. 
As if that wasn't enough, the sandbox tree's sap is incredibly caustic, harming anything that it comes into contact with. It's been said that the tree sap is similar to your common household drain cleaner, and has even been used by fishermen to poison fish. Only that's one fillet of sole you may not want to dig into afterwards. Even the local tribespeople reportedly use the sandbox tree sap on the tips of their arrows to make for a deadly combination. Even the fruit of the sandbox tree can kill you if you're not careful. The tree's seed pods are about the size of a large fist, and when they ripen, they can actually explode. The dried fruit is sent flying everywhere and moves with so much force that it can wound any livestock or humans nearby. Number 1. Darth Vader Flower Named after one of the greatest and most ominous villains of all time is the Darth Vader flower. And once you take a look at this creepy little bloom, you'll see exactly how it earned its name. Also known as Aristolochia pipevine, this freaky looking plant is a woody climber that's native to the humid meadows and soggy floodplains of Brazil. The flower looks just like the Sith Lord's helmet, and it's just as dark, but it's the smell that will really get you. Going with the theme of evil flowers, the Darth Vader flower stinks like rotting flesh, which attracts insects. The unsuspecting prey fly right into the eyes of the fallen Jedi, which are lined with sticky hairs that ensnare its prey and cover them with pollen. The insects are eventually released so they can go ahead and pollinate more blooms and spread the dark side all throughout the galaxy. But all jokes aside, one perhaps unfortunate aspect of this bizarre plant is each bloom only lasts one week. So unlike Darth Vader, these flowers don't get to have a happy ending. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.